Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group H Round 2 match between Lamar Soleil and Andy Davo. An incredible matchup between these two fellas. Let's have a look at the table after the first week. Andy uh, fell on a bit of a banana skin, drew against Baylor. No offence to Baylor, but Chaos Chosen, I did not expect to get any points in this group. So two points lost from Andy. The Marseille picked up the win, you know, expected win versus Lizard Men, right? Good racial matchup for Wood Elves. So, with there being a draw, if Le Marseille wins this game, he guarantees his spot in the round of 32. And if Andy loses, he's in a lot of trouble. If it's a draw, Le Marseille is still looking good because he's, he, he's got the Chaos Chosen to play in round three. If it's a win for Andy, then that blows the group wide open. Um, and there's, there's been, he'll be, he'll be top of the group probably, because I would imagine Breaky T will beat Baylor again. No offense to Baylor, chaos chosen, or bad, bad in this environment. So all to play for in this game. Um, Le Marseille is French, unsurprisingly. He qualified through the season five playoffs. Andy Devo is British, of course, and he qualified through the NAF Blood Bowl 3 Summer Qualifier. Um, incidentally, I finished second in that, and Seabrolls uh, finished third, and Misspelled Tree finished fourth, so I ended up getting the second spot after I had already qualified, and Seabrolls declined his ticket for the finals. The Marcelet with Wood Owls, a pretty normal build except for no tree. Uh, and no apple, so not very normal, I guess. <laughs> um, has the reserve rather than the apple. Has three catches and a leader thrower. Couple of dodge, couple of wrestle, that's completely standard, isn't it? Uh, strip ball's completely standard. And a tackle, oh, four catches. A tackle dancer rather than... I think sidestep is pretty... Uh, Pretty, I think I quite like side. I think I like sidestep the most. But you know, you sometimes see sidestep, sometimes see frenzy. Um, it's completely normal apart from all the differences, exactly. And Davo has gone with a quintessential necromantic build for this tournament, which is four guards, three blocks, both wolves, only one ghoul. This, this is the killer, there's only one ghoul. You, you have to have three rerolls, you have to have 12 players. So, you don't really have a lot. I, I think you have to. Right? You could, he could have gone with 11 players, but um, I think, and two ghouls, but I think you have to have 12 players. Let's you foul and stuff. So I think this is the only build I do. I know Diamond and Bright went with something different, but I think this is the absolute quintessential team for Necrolantic. And obviously Devo is very, very experienced and just quality with Necromantic. I would definitely put him in the top five to win this tournament. Going for the instant serve. Well, not actually, he hasn't got, he hasn't got a free Wraith. If he'd had a Wraith, he could have just surfed this, couldn't he? Like, I mean, he could have surfed anyway, but it would have been like, he would have, well, okay, oh my God, okay. So if he'd got the push there, this fella would have gone here and he would have got the serve, but he would have had to still move players to try and defend it. So, interesting. Interesting that he didn't completely sell out. Like, he could have completely sold out for the serve by moving the Wraith there first. But I guess he was willing to kind of maybe just trade the catcher for the zombie. Wrestler can't take the vault down. Oh. Lucky gets the one in nine against the Dodger. Oh, oh, oh. Moving in the fleshy. Um, I actually hate that before taking this block. I'm just, I hate it full stop actually. <laughs> I 
Fails the pickup, no reroll. And this catcher is going to move instantly, yep. So the rest of it is quite strong, to be fair. Gets the power, but it's still a three-two to cut, get through, which isn't isn't good, is it? You can try it with the catchers, but it's not good. Yeah, this one's going to go first, of course. Could have come in, right? Could have come in rather than going stay on the sideline. I would have rather come in there. So if you fail the second one, you're deeper in as well, but. Fails one in nine is the dodge and gets KO'd. So already two players down instantly. And only one elf in the backfield. Maybe that was a calculated move by Dave away. Just invite one in so we can three dice him. And Kaz him. <laughs> okay, well that's a great start for Dave. Oh, down to eight players. This should be pretty pretty simple drive now. Would definitely have re-rolled that, I think. <laughs> like the fact he's made the cage for him, right? Like you've still got Oh wait, no, he's only got two re-rolls. Okay then wouldn't have. Wouldn't have re-rolled it with two re-rolls. I thought for some reason he still had three re-rolls. No, definitely not would have re-rolled. Okay, well now with this zombie getting cast, all of a sudden, not quite as comfortable. Gonna blitz the zombie to save the dodge. And it's a soft target, isn't it? You don't want to fail the foul appearance to blitz. Like, although removing the wraith is like a million times better, you don't want to risk failing it. Failing the foul appearance, you don't want to get sidestepped on. You don't want to fail, like, to fail to knock down the fleshy and have three players stuck in him. Or not break armor and have three players stuck in him next turn. So it makes sense to just try and pick off the zombie. Yeah, keeping the keeping the wolves and the wraith all around the ball. Honestly, not excessive banging, just uh, pretty good dice rolls for these three removals. Needs to be careful with this leader, doesn't he? Uh, I'm not a big fan of the leader. TBH. Oh, well, we've got a surf here, haven't we? The, uh, you can wraith in here. And then you can wolf, wolf, surf. quite like surfing <laughs> no he's not going for it wow very restrained by Devo can't believe it Same thing as last turn, everyone back a square. Punch a zombie. There's a 1D. Not a big fan of that blitz. Ah, oh, but then it gives him this 2D. 
gets the pow. Yeah, I guess Devo actually, like, you know, he could go for the surf, but I guess he's valuing the guards and stuff more. Wow, ball carrier blitz. You know, people make a big deal about that when it's not really, right? It's only a big deal one in 12, nine, six times. Now, I guess it could have been a Wraith. Oh, no, he went there with a the Wraith. Okay. All right, the ball. Yep, yep, he realized that there was there was guard there. There was no guard there, so he changed it and rushed. Really meticulous about having guard, guard around his cage. Doesn't want to give him the easy strip. Not too sure about that punch. Like, it's not bad. Uh, yeah, okay, that's okay, isn't it? Big line. Like, it's getting to the nitty gritty, isn't it? So I feel like maybe it's just, you know. Protecting could have been more important than just punching that turn. And now he gets punched and trapped. And okay, it's not fully trapped, right? He can 3 2 out, but he's only got two rerolls, so. You know, whereas if he'd got back last turn, he'd have been here, and then the blitz would have been on the catcher, and it wouldn't have been as bad. Oh, makes his dodge. Lots of dodges every turn, no problem, never fail. Imagine having dice rolls like this, I would never. Strong argument for blitzing this one, which is a bit further, so he could get on a 2+. plus. But, um, doesn't. Do we go through this guy this turn, or the wolf? Probably. This seems way too... This is in the wrong square, right? In the wrong square. Huge uh, forward path for Devo here. Plenty of guard around the cage, and yeah, this is this is a mistake. This this guy here, I guess, or this guy, one of them, right, should have been over here. Not making that an easy, easy shift over. Do you just leap in for the uphill here? Might have to, right? Probably not going to stop him, so. Leap in for the uphill. Oh. <laughs> he dodged out. Wait, do you have to... Oh, because he was in the tackle zone, wasn't he? He was in the tackle... Wait, that doesn't make any sense. What did he do that for? He could have just jumped here, couldn't he? He could have just jumped here. You could have just jumped one. You don't have to jump two, do you? Or maybe, maybe you have to now. Amazing. Gets the strip anyway. You have to do two, yeah. So you, it, In the old rules, you could just go straight in, couldn't you? I would have rather pushed it up here anyway, though, I think. Like, I would have rather jumped in there and pushed him back. Why push him out? Yeah. You've got a catcher at the back. Yeah. F 
five plus. Diced. Wow. Four plus one. So we can fill this in for the chain. No, no, I'm not chaining. Ah, oh, I, I thought you would have chained him across and then 3D'd him. But... Oh, it's, he's within 7 anyway. Disregard, errata, errata, he's within 7 anyway. So 3 plus with a reroll. Gotta punch the uh, dancer, of course. I didn't like the strip angle, no. No, I did not like the strip angle at all. After he, after he, like, dodged to get the different one as well, right? Yeah, I did not like that at all. But Devo gets the turn 8 score. Success. For uh, one quarter of the best UKTC t team of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Just quietly. Yeah. I'm jealous of anybody who can ever make a dodge, to be honest. I don't think he's going to be scoring the one turn, is he? Oh! Oh, man, right. This is interesting, isn't it? So he got the, he got the quick snap. Is there any way he could have benefited from that? No? Yes? Even without Frenzy, right? If you're starting here and you fill these no, you just can't, can you? No, you just need friends. No, no, because you can move another guy in there to make the hit. You move another guy to make the hit, and you move the catcher there. So you, you move a guy here and a guy here. And then you fill the squares, and you punch him. And then you push the catcher. And then you can get him, right? Does that work? Am I being stupid? He hasn't got, he hasn't got sized up, though, has he? Oh, God, okay, no, I guess not. If he had sidestep, though, he could have done, right? He could have definitely if he'd had sidestep, yeah. <laughs> but, so again, the sidestep dancer. The sidestep dancer would have, um... Would have come in. Would have come in play. Yeah, fine, yeah. <laughs> Not great. Not great. He would have had to have rolled a quick snap. But he could have played for the quick snap if he had sidestep. He could have played for the, the quick snap and he would have still been loads of rolls and it would have been very unlikely. But at least he would have had a play um, against, you know, stand firm and sidestep. Okay. Oh, okay, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Just Dakar. Oh, God. This is like a dagger, except you get punched 16 times. <laughs> and everything's based. <laughs> oh, no, I hate this. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's so weird. Like, just dagger. Now you have a million dice rolls to make. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess if you're going for the win. But, like, a draw is okay for Lamar's, right? Because he's already beaten Breaky T. He's got to fancy himself versus the Chaos. So a draw here is fine for Lamar's. Also, are you really going to score in five and go for the win versus Dave or Necro? <laughs> it's, it's like... <laughs> I mean, maybe if you're in a tabletop tournament where, like, you have to win every game to qualify, but really... 
it's pretty suicidal, isn't it? Be sensible and just go for the draw. Just be normal. <laughs> okay, I, I hate, I, I, I actively hate this strategy of like daquering where everybody gets hit and based. Oof. Wow, okay, Falcon, you should have rolled better. <laughs> should have rolled better, K Fog. <laughs> when are you gonna learn? <laughs> oh, we've got to surf. Oh, no, we don't. He doesn't use dodge. No, I don't think it's a sensible gun. Can surf this uh, uphill surf the zombie, eh? That looks pretty good after all your safe moves. Ah, lame. Yeah, he has to rush because uh, he hasn't got sidestep. This is a... Uh, dicey, for want of a better word. He's got a 2D on the ball if we want it. Right? A few dice, but 2D on the ball. Pretty good. I'd go for this, wouldn't you go for this? He's got, he's got three re-rolls. Looks like he is going for it. Double rush, yeah. And then come around the back with a wolf. And not only is it two dice on the board, it's, wait, is it, oh, let's see how far it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's four dice on the ball into another, into another, uh, two dice on the ball, into another two dice on the ball. <laughs> Rerolls that one. Oh, he should have taken the push. He should have taken the push. You had another 2D straight after it. Oh. Yes, indeed, k -Fog. Yep, 100%. If you're not rerolling that, then the catch is just better because it's a 1 in 9, so a 1 in 6. Yep. Oh, that, that, I do not like that. Reroll on there, like after getting the push. I'd rather have made the, you know, taken the push and get the hit with the Wraith, for sure. Whoa. Now Lamaz gets to roll some two pluses. Must be nice. <laughs> Okay, there we go, a double one, finally. Um, <laughs> did you not notice this guy? This is, I mean, was this on purpose to just tempt Devo? I think tempting him with eliminating your best player isn't such a good tempt. <laughs> no, there we go. Blitz and the catcher might have been okay there. Is he gonna base him with it? No, look at it. Good in it, good by Dave. Or just keep you know, keep hold this so you can't get in and stuff like you want it low. 
try and hold this space, protect your wolf. Lots of people would have base, wouldn't they? With a, you know, to be fair, basing with a foul appearance sidestep is pretty good. But then, you know, he holds all of this space, doesn't he? So, really nice. Well, I say he holds that space. <laughs> doesn't actually hold it, <laughs> so it's not that good. <laughs> Maybe he should have been one back. Oh, maybe he should have based the ball with a with a foul appearance sidestep. Here we go, another double one. Or just a straight one, was it? Just a straight one. These catchers running around the backfield is pretty annoying. No way to like fully deal with them, is there? Yeah, dodge Lino just laying down. Yeah. Blitz this catcher back. I mean, there's you know it's playoffs in it, playoffs, playoff uh, nerves. It's it's completely understandable. People not playing the best, I think. Well, now he's going to stand them up for free. This is a very conservative turn by Davo, isn't it? Letting him get all these players up for free is a bit dangerous. I know it's turn 14, but this is a dangerous game to play. Letting him get these guys up for now. Playoff nerves, hello fighting. It, it is playoff nerves. I can tell you as somebody who's played my first round match in this tournament, I had some playoff nerves. My, I still played great. <laughs> <laughs> I still played great, but I did have ch I did have playoff nerves. <laughs> Can't really get around the back, can he? Big Kev. He's trying to hold all the space in it, just he doesn't have to chase him and like overcommit, make a mistake. But this is still pretty easy for elves just to roll some dice. The problem with like playing it like this is it's still pretty easy for the elves to just roll some dice and get you. And he gets the knockdown here. And he goes through. Yep. Woof, an extra rush as well. I didn't really like the second rush there, but never mind. <laughs> what can I say, machine? Oh! Oh! He used his last reroll! Did he have to use his last reroll on that? One, two, three, four, rush. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he did have to. Yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't rolled the best. Well, he did. He did loads of dodges before. To be fair, k he rolled loads of dodges before. So, it's uh, first half, he just passed. He, he's making so many... One in thirty six is every turn. You know, like four players base, dodge them all back every turn, so maybe he hasn't had it in the second half, but first half he had pretty some pretty decent dice. And they still weren't enough, like he got the strip, but maybe wrong angle. And Oh, do you know what? Yeah, maybe ran out of time. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a very good point. Do 
comfortable rush. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head there, K Fog. What is he doing? <laughs> I've got no idea what that was about. I like genuinely have no idea. He was going to try to get this guy free, but that was the blitz. Like... How is blitzing this guy out? Getting the ball out? So, yeah, if, so if this was filled, if he'd done this 2 plus and filled it, then he was going to blitz, push him into there, into there, into there, into there, and then he blocks him, and then powers him. Chain the wraith to, like, here or here. Here, I guess. The wraith would go to here. Doesn't seem to help a lot. Like to say that the investment for this and making a blockless block. Like I don't know what the best way to score is. Like to be fair, to be fair, I don't know what the best way to score is. What is the best way to score? This is pretty tricky, isn't it? I mean, this is pretty difficult. Hand off to the dodger. And then, so a three, and then a four, three, two. That seems rubbish. Could blitz this guy, then block him. And it just doesn't help you, like, Nothing really helps. Yeah, I, I guess punch the wraith. This guy can stand and you just punch the wraith and see what happens, see where he goes. And then I guess you can try to punch the wolf, maybe. And then you could try and deep score. I don't know. Hey, this is hard. This is really hard. Really good defense from David. But I just don't know what he was trying to do. I don't know what he's trying to do here. Um, it didn't work. <laughs> Whatever it was, it didn't work. But I mean, it wasn't. It was. It was not easy to do anything good. Oh, maybe he was going to try and clear everything from the catcher, right? Maybe he was going to try and. Clear this catcher, but and then ha maybe clear the catcher and hand off to the catcher, and then go back. So maybe can you go back? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rush, rush. Yeah, yeah. Go back with that catcher. Okay, that was probably the play. Hand off to that catcher and go back, and then forward was probably the way out. But yeah, really hard anyway. Really, really great. Turn sixteen defense. Well, turn fifteen defense by Devo, and Devo gets the win. So that really puts the cat amongst the pigeons in this group. That leaves Lamar's on three, Devo on four, and uh, Breaky T fighting for his survival with Baylor. And uh, yeah, there's a there's a good chance Devo's top of the group after this, isn't it? So there you go. And uh, congratulations to Andy Devo. Commiserations to Lamar's away. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.